2501. What I'm going to do in these uh, videos for this course is simply to do some solutions to a very small selection of questions from each, each chapter, from each section. There are 12 sections and I'll do roughly two, sometimes three questions per uh, section. So first one is a very simple problem, very similar to what you've done back in first year maths. You're given a matrix A and you have an arbitrary vector B and you're asked the question what conditions there are on this vector B so that AX equals B has at least one solution. So usual method, you're going to take the matrix A, which happened to be this matrix, you're going to augment it with the vector B and then simply row reduce and see what, what kinds of, um, of solutions we can get and under what conditions the solutions exist. So we're going to take our first row, copy that one down, and I'm going to take, um, probably a good idea to write down what we're doing, so I take row 2 minus 2 row 1. So that minus twice that, that minus twice that, that minus twice that, and then B2 minus 2 B1. When you're doing these, quickly double check your arithmetic, make sure you've got it right. And then I'm going to do row 3 minus 2 row 1. So that minus twice that one, that minus twice that, that minus twice that will give me plus 6. And that minus twice that's B3 minus 2 B1. So at this stage we've got a nice pivot here. We have a nice pivot here. I can use that one now to get rid of the minus 3 below. So copy down the first row and copy down the second row. And I'm going to take now, I will take row 3 plus 3 row 2. So that'll give me a 0 there. That's going to give me a 0 there. And if I take uh, times that by 3 and add, I get 3B2. I get plus B3. And I multiply that by 3 and add, I get minus 8B1. Now, in order for that to have solutions, then... The bottom row tells me that 0 equals this number, and in order for that to make sense, then this number over here must be 0. So we finish the problem by saying this has solutions. In fact, it's got infinitely many solutions, if and only if this number here is 0. So I want this to be 0. I may just change the signs here, doesn't matter just to make the first coefficient positive. You could leave it as minus 8 B1 plus 3 B2 minus, uh, plus B3 is 0. And that's the solution to the problem.